Kayla Chinchia. I am the housing coordinator and I will attend today's fall 2023 move-in information session. So today's agenda, it's before move-in. We're gonna talk about what to bring, the move-in expectation, what's expected after move-in and important dates. And at the end, we will have a Q&A. Today's presentation, we have our beautiful um, housing staff answering any questions you have in our Q&A section. So if you have any questions, just make sure to um, ask and we will, our staff will be answering them. We'll have a few minutes after the presentation to directly answer any questions you might have. And at the end, we'll send your recording in a few days. Before moving. Move-in dates. All residents should have received on Friday their move-in date and time for our graduate students. If you are, um, if you chose to live in the Golden Eagle Apartments, your move-in date is August 16th. It's a Wednesday. Your time is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. For my students who are under 21, you are moving in August 17th to the 18th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And for my students who are over 21, you will be moving August 19, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, there's a lot of questions that we are starting to get that if you wanna change your, um, you wanna reschedule and you are very welcome to reschedule the time. If you are living in South Village, you can actually change from the 17 or the 18. Um, if you are living in the departments phase one and two or in the Golden Eagle apartments, you only have that one day, but you are still welcome to change the time. Just keep in mind the last day that you'll be able to change time uh, and date is August 11th at 12 p.m. This time determines when you can check into housing and when to show up. For our South Village residents, keep in mind that you your Golden Eagle card is basically your key. You need your key to go into your building. You need your key to go into dining. You need your key to go into laundry room and to your room. So make sure you do have that key card, um, your one card before you move in. Most of the residents to get their one card um, in orientation. If not, you are, you still can go into the get account submit a photo, pay your, your $5 fee, and you can pick up your one card at the Student, Server, Student Service Center at room 2232. And for my um, residents in phase one and two, for the apartments and Golden Eagle apartments, make sure you do have it. Even though you don't need a key card to go into your uh, apartment, you will be asked when you come in. Uh, what's it bring? For our South Village residents, um, keep in mind that you have a extra large twin bed. So when you come in, um, purchase that type of linen, the pillowcases, make sure you bring um, pick, um, pillows, blankets. Those are items we do not uh, provide. Also, if you choose to bring a refrigerator, just make sure that it is the measurement um, that we are requesting. You can also find us information on our website. Make sure you bring a laundry, laundry um, basket detergent because those are also items we do not provide. Items you should not bring is weapons, drugs, alcohol, um, vaping materials, and most definitely unapproved animals. If you do bring an unapproved animals, we will find them. So make sure to not bring them. For our apartments, it's the same thing as South Village um, beds. You have a twin extra large bed. So make sure to um, purchase the correct blanket sheets. If you wanna bring a mattress pad, a TV, you are very welcome to bring those items. You also have your bathroom in your apartment and and kitchen, so bring all the items that are necessary. Apartment residents, do not bring any furniture. Your apartment does have furniture, has a microwave, has a refrigerator, so those items you do not need to bring. Once again, you do not, please do not bring any unapproved animals because we will find them and you will probably get in trouble. So make sure not to bring those. Moving day, what to expect? Plan on arriving before your appointment time. Check in structure E, follow the signs into the structure of Paseo Lancho Castillo. 
students will need to present their one card to check in and their barcode. Have it ready for our team to scan. Basically, your barcode will submit it to you in the coming weeks. Make sure you bring that with your one card. You will be given a color color 20 minute unloading pass. Follow the signs and decorations with the much matching color to find where to go. There will be no check-ins from 12 to 1 p.m. So if you choose to come in at 12 p.m., we will not be able to check you in since we will be taking our breaks during that time. Once you reach your unloading zone, there will be a moving car and volunteers to help you unload. After you unload, a resident assistant or volunteer will watch your car while you park. So if you are moving by yourself, you don't have to worry. You're going to unload your items into the moving car. We have volunteers to help you. The volunteer will stay with your stuff while you um, park your car in lot five. You'll walk back to your, the, your station and then you'll go into your room assignment with the volunteer to help you during your move. South, South Village residents, at check-in, once the barcode is scanned, your one card will be activated and will let you know what room you'll be assigned to. Follow the signs to South Village and to the correct unloading zone. Once again, our you're going to receive a unloading zone of a color blue, purple, or green. You will also receive your room assignment at that time, and depending on what color, that's where you're going to go to your tower. For our apartment residents, you actually have multiple unloading zones. All depending on what color your unloading zone ticket, that's where you are gonna park, you're gonna unload. You have 20 minutes to unload. You also have volunteers to help you and assist you. And then after you're done unloading, you're gonna park your car at the lot five. After moving. All residents are gonna receive an inspection form or you can also find the inspection form on your housing portal. You need to submit this form in a week after you move in. This is mainly for if you receive, if you see any damages, stains, or rips, you take a picture of whatever you find and then you submit it on the inspection form. If you have a, if you're planning to park your car in Law Five, which is the housing parking residence, make sure to print out, um, get your virtual residential parking permit if you haven't already done so at my CalCLA portal. So we do have many events um, the beginning, the first week and the first um, few days before you move in. So make sure to follow our social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're going to provide you all the details, the times, and the dates where um, all, the, all the fun locations. One, some of the locations that residents like um, correct does is movie nights, trivia night, grocery, bingo, dances, and more. So make sure to follow our page to get the most updated information of housing. Important dates and reminders. So for our residents who have not applied and you're thinking of applying, make sure to apply before August 9th. If you choose to apply after um, August 9th and let's say 10, 11, you will be waitlisted and there is a possibility you won't be having, you won't have a room assignment until August 21st when we open our waitlisted again. So make sure to apply before August 9th. Our next um, important due date is uh, um, August 25th. That's when we open our room change application. That's for all our residents that choose to, let's say, if you have a double and you wanna be in a triple, or if you're in a triple, you wanna be in a double, or if you just wanna move in with your friend, we have an application for that. There is a $75, $75 fee, so just keep that in mind. And we do not promise anything. It all depends on what our inventory is. Your housing payment is due September 8th. If you are in a payment plan, your housing payment is due in December. Reminder, if all your work orders you're gonna submit, your appointments or any cancellations um, forms or anything that regarding housing forms, you will find in your housing portal. I'll give you a second if you wanna just take a picture of the QR code and it will take you directly to the housing portal. Make sure to not put your username or password. All you have to do is just click the student SSO login and you'll be able to log into your housing portal. Cancellation. Remember that you're signing a contract. Read it thoroughly. This is a legally binding and can only be voided under special circumstance. The cancellation deadline was July 28th. 
if you need to cancel, you need to log into your housing portal and request a petition to cancel. Approved cancellations are not promised. After submitting the license agreement, cancellation request form, it can take up to seven to 14 business days to process. Just keep in mind as we get closer to moving, this uh, minimum business days might take a little longer prior that we are starting to bring in our move-in residents. Cancellations need to be approved. Your contract is still active unless confirmed otherwise by housing department. Turning in your keys, leaving your room or nullifying housing does not automatically void the contract. So make sure you go through the process, even if you leave or even if you inform us, that does not mean you are, you are able to go, you are still legally binded. So make sure to go through the correct process. Q&A. So I'm going to give everyone maybe like a few minutes to if you have any questions um, and then I will answer any questions that I see that are being repeated or um, anything, um, I'll answer it live. So do your q and So our first question is, are we going to receive a copy of this Zoom recording? And yes, you will receive it in a few days. So just give us um, maybe till the end of the week or even the the end of next week, but you will for sure receive this recording. Is the duration time for moving in our only allow time to move things in on that particular day? What happens if you go over that time? What essentially is that time for? So um, it's just to keep like less traffic. The, our time slot is for our students to not be um, waiting in a long line. It's just to keep a very qualified um, people coming in and out. And yes, you are allowed to change your time. There are openings so you can go through the housing portal. You go to the housing uh, fall appointment. You can change the time if you are a South Village resident. So those are my students who are under 21. You are able to change from the 17 to the 18 or the 18 to the 17. Everyone else, you only have one date to move in, but you are able to ch um, choose either the morning shift or the afternoon shift. I got an email saying that my appointment is ready in my housing portal, but when I go into my housing portal, it's not there. Is it any way you can tell me my appointment time? Um, yes. Um, we, If you email us at Ask Housing, we can definitely uh, provide you that information. Um, if it's not in your um, portal, just give us a few days and we'll, we'll fix that. But please email us if you are not able to see that. Um, our next question is, will moving people help us move our stuff into our apartment? Yes, we will have volunteers to assist you um, during your move. Our next question is, what should I do if I got a sign in appointment date but cannot move in on the date? I cannot reschedule to the 17th because they are full. This is for South Village residents. So that has been updated, um, just as um, my colleague said, and you are able to change from one date to another date. Do we get our own desk? Yes, you do. Every resident has their own desk, their own closet, their own little drawer, and their little bit. So the next question is um, for fridges. If you are living in South Village, there are a measurement requirements, so make sure to look into those um, dimensions. And yes, um, you will probably have to share your fridge with your roommate. Um, for apartments in South Village, um, the question is for dorms, are we allowed to bring it TVs? You are very welcome to bring TVs um, for any of the Golden Eagle apartments, regular apartments, and South Village halls. So if you are living in the apartments, um, you are able to actually see your room location. Just keep in mind, we are still making changes. Um, even if you did do room selections, we're still making um, last minute changes. It, the most accurate room assignment, if you are living in apartments or building eagles, it will be probably the day before you move in. For myself, village residents, you will not know who is your roommate nor your location until the day you move in. So all beds in South Village and apartments, they are um, twin extra large. For the resident that has in South Village are beds in the trip form to an extra large beds. Our next question is what time does move-in day start? 
all depending on where you live. So once again, if you live in South Village, your move-in date is August 17 and 18, which is Thursday and Friday and it starts at 9 a.m. Hi everyone, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. I'll continue with answering the questions live. Uh, my name is Renee, I'm the eligibility coordinator. Um, so how do we schedule meetings with the housing team? This will depend on what your question is. Um, I think for the best support, you can reach us uh, through askhousing at castellay.edu. Um, you can also give us a call at 323-343-4800. Um, and then we can go from there. Uh, one person asked, can we know the measurements of the bed frame? Um, so I would suggest for a twin XL, um, go ahead and Google that information and you will know how big a twin XL bed is. Where can I see the full amount needed to pay for housing? So you can see this amount on your GET account. You will see how much uh, has been posted to your account and then go ahead and calculate if you will have an out-of-pocket expense after your financial aid. Um, if you do need to make a payment plan, you can visit the housing forms tab in the um, housing portal and you can start a payment plan today. Can we know who our roommate is so that we can coordinate who will purchase a fridge? Unfortunately, we will not release roommate information. You will need to learn this on move-in day. Um, so before you purchase a fridge, make sure you, you coordinate this with your roommate. Um, so definitely wait till move-in so you can talk about that. Does the meal plan open when we move in? Um, I believe the meal plan will, will be effective starting August 18. If my staff can please correct me on that, if that is different, please. I believe you're correct, the 18th, Friday. Thank you, Maria, much appreciated. You're welcome. Are posters allowed? If so, what tape can be used? On a side note, what kind of hooks are able to be used if command strips are not recommended because of paint damage? Um, we do recommend the command strips that are easy on the paint because you just pull that strip and, you know, it doesn't damage the paint. Um, I will say in some cases, some students will not pull that right and still rip off the paint. So, you know, I will say use, it, use that information um, to the best of your ability. That is a tough one to answer because it can be easy to take off or some people may, may not... Um, take it off correctly and still cause paint damage. But uh, back to your question, are posters allowed? They are allowed, but again, it's up to you how, how uh, you want to post those on the wall. Just be careful. Uh, how many people can come with me on move-in day? We recommend a maximum of two people. There are gonna be a lot of cars here, so just be mindful of that. There's gonna, all the hallways are gonna be full um so just um you know the recommended maximum is two people per student does the meal plan work at any place on campus unfortunately the meal plan is only for um the village dining area you would not be able to use this at the cafe upstairs um that also goes for your um, dining dollars those can only be used in our markets here in housing. Uh, what do we do if we notice paint damage um, that we know we didn't do? And this is on move-in day. For this, I would recommend taking photographs and documenting it. Um, as soon as you move in, there will be a, it's called an apartment condition report or room condition report. Um, and you will fill this out. If there's a problem with any area, we want you to document it. Um, I would say definitely take a picture, take video. A lot of things can happen during the school year. So the, the better you document it, it's gonna help your case in the event that you get charged and you'll be able to appeal that at the end of the year. Um, but we definitely wanna take care of this. So if you notice something that we didn't notice, please let us know. 
Can I bring my electric scooter? Unfortunately, you cannot bring uh, your electric scooter. This is a, a safety concern. Um, it's possible that you can hurt someone. So we strongly do not recommend that you that you bring your scooter. How do we get to the application status page? On the housing portal, I can only find the appointment and the completed application, but not the status page. So the status page actually lives in the application page that you submitted. Um, at the very last page, um, that's where you'll be able to see your room type. So yeah, that, that's where you'll see the application status page. If I did the roommate wizard, but only got one roommate and staying in a triple, will I be able to stay with the roommate on my wizard? Um, this is a tough question because your roommate must also want to be in a triple. If they did not want to be in a triple, it's possible that you two have been split. Or um, if they decided they wanted to be in a community where you have to apply and be accepted, that is also another possibility that may happen. But if you two pick the triple and there was no other community that they applied for, um, the chances of you two being placed together are, are great. Is there a place to store my bike? Um, yes, you can actually store your bike in front of Tower 3 in the South Village. Um, if you are living in Phase 2, Oh, Maria, do you know where a bike rack is in phase one or two? Yes, for students living in phase one or two, there is a bike rack on the west side of building two by the stairs. And I believe if you live at GEA, there's a bike rack within the community near that uh, laundry room. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there room inspections done by RAs and staff often? Um, so as far as the room inspection, the RAs are gonna do a room inspection uh, before you move in. You're gonna do your own inspection. And then after that is what we call a wellness check that happens um, every so often during the semester, every semester. So you'll definitely be notified when that happens, but yes, there will be a making sure that you're following regulation policy, that you're not putting the TVs, the sorry, the beds together. Um, so those ins those quote unquote inspections will happen throughout the semester. Are we allowed to move things around, i.e., move the bed and closet? Um, Yes, however, as long as it doesn't interfere with that of um, the other students, if you are in a room by yourself, but the bed is vacant and you move them together, that is a violation of the policy. So definitely don't do something like that. Um, again, it has to make sense. If you're moving together all into everything into a corner, that is a violation of our policy. Um, but if you want to move something a couple of inches just to make room for another um, uh, drawer or something like that, then that is acceptable. Are we allowed to get different, more comfortable desk chairs? Uh, yes, as long as the previous desk chair stays in your bedroom. Um, and again, it shouldn't impede the space of the other students living in the room, student or students. So yes, but with an asterisk there. For the laundry question, will laundry be free? Um, so yes, it will be free. There is no charge with laundry. Um, so just keep note of that. Are we allowed to invite visitors? Yes, you may invite visitors, but you do have to submit a form which is located on your housing portal. This does need to be approved by the residence life team. So before your guest comes to let's say sleep over, um, you do need that approved. However, if you just want to have a friend over just to visit, hang out, study, that is totally fine. Yes, according to my direct supervisor, laundry will be free for the academic year. Is printer usage free? No, that is not free. Um, you will have to do that up on campus at the library and they do charge per page using your Eagle dollars. 
laundry soap and um, uh, laundry soap and downy or that sort of uh, clothing softener is not provided by the university. Um, so yeah, that is not provided by us. We apologize. Um, I, so student was confused about the laundry question. Um, we verified this with our supervisor and it will be free for the academic year. Hello, it there's was, also printing stations in each tower as well as the computer lab in the community center. Thank you, Benjamin, for that extra information. Are there dishwashers in the apartments? Could you help me with that one, Chris? So if you live in the phase two apartments, there is a dishwasher. However, for phase one, there is not a dishwasher. And Thank there are, there are no dishwashers at GEA as well. Is the housing fee the only thing in our get right now? So in your get account, you should see the charges posted for both your meal plan and for your housing rental fee. Um, for your next question, are there printers in SV? Yes, there is a printer in every tower on the first floor. How do we connect the printer to the Wi-Fi? Um, this is an interesting question. It's possible that you might have to do this through ITS so that they can grant you access to something like that. This also goes for any console. So if you have an Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, you will have to do a separate process through the ITS. Informa information technology services. Is there adjustable AC in the phase two apartments? Yes, there is one central unit for the entire apartment. So you'll have to coordinate this with, with your housemates, make sure that everyone agrees to the same temperature. Am I able to figure out if I'm in phase one or two before moving day? Yes, you may go to your application in the housing portal and select the application status page. There you will see your booking summary. What is the address to the dorms? By dorms, I'm going to assume you mean South Village residence halls. Um, that will be 5500 Paso Rancho Castilla in Los Angeles. Um, you cannot change your address until you've already been here. Um, so yeah, just wait till you're here because then we'll receive mail. And if we see that you do not live here, we're gonna send it back. So just, just uh, wait till you get here. There is one convenience store next in South Village and there's another one in the phase two um, apartment and you can buy snacks there. Um, if you have a declining balance on your card, you can use those dollars to buy soda, chips, and so on. Is there an uh, Amazon hub nearby? I believe there is an Amazon hub over at the 7-Eleven, which is close to campus. However, if you want Amazon to send stuff directly to housing, we'll definitely take that. Um, we just strongly recommend you put your room number, full name. Some students will put their, their nickname and that, that will cause us to send the package back. So just make sure you write all your information um, and then your bedroom number. On move-in day, you do not need to pay for parking. Um, but after that, once the semester has started, you will be required to have a, a parking permit. Um, for the academic year. How long will it take for us to receive the recording? Um, give us about two to three business days. We do have to edit some, some items. So um, just give us a, a few minutes. If I can get you the password, if I can get the password, you can probably send us an email tomorrow and you can see the raw video. Um, but if you want the edited version, it will take us about two or three days. When's the earliest we can rent a mini fridge? Unfortunately, we do not rent out fridges. Um, if you are living in South Village, you are allowed one fridge per room. So make sure you coordinate with your roommate um, if you are gonna wanna get a fridge together. 
how much is the parking permit for the semester? I don't know the exact cost, but it is about $250. Um, and you can see this on your parking um, parking widget and your My Casa Lay. Does the mailbox information remain the same or does it change? For example, if I subscribe to a magazine, would I have to renew the address? Um, I mean, unless you were switching from phase one to South Village, that would probably be the only reason to change your address. Um, if you're getting shipped something to your house and you want to ship here, then I would suggest also changing the address. I asked earlier regarding handicap parking for phase one and two move in day, but wasn't sure if the question was answered or not. I use a wheelchair and was wondering where I should park since law five does not have an accessible ramp. Um, so for moving in your stuff, you will be allowed to park on the loop, the housing loop. And there you will be able to get a cart and move things to your room. Um, then after you will have to park your car in lot five, but at least for loading and unloading, you can park in the housing loop. And the housing loop is adjacent to all the buildings in phase one and phase two. Are South Village residents allowed to use the new soccer field that is down the hill? Um, unfortunately, that is that can only be used during programming through done by a residence life. Um, that field is technically owned by athletics. So, yeah, you do need special permission to use that field. I will be leave, living with two other people in my dorm at South Village. We will be where will we be able to put the refrigerator? That is something you three need to figure out. Um, the room is pretty spacious, so maybe you might have to move some furniture um, a tad to make something like that fit. Unfortunately, I don't have the exact measurements of the desk. Um, so definitely wait to move in so you, you can assess the room and see what kind of Tupperware or containers that you wanna buy. Does Cal State LA still offer iPads first come first serve under C success? If so, when does the application open up? That is something that I've never heard of before, so I wouldn't be able to answer that. Um, uh, maybe Google C success and see what their application looks like. Does the community kitchen have kitchen supplies such as pans and other utensils? Um, you know, sometimes people will leave stuff behind and, um, you know, it's open to use. However, I don't know if that stuff is provided. The towels, like cleaning towels are provided and some dish soap, but that is the only thing you can expect from the community kitchen. Are we allowed to bring food into our rooms? And can we bring water kennels? Um, you may not bring a water kennel to your room because it is a fire hazard but you can bring food into your room. That's not a problem. Um, yeah, so if you wanna bring food from the outside, it's fine into your room. Are we allowed to play music? Yes, you may play music. Just make, be conscious of your roommates. Uh, make sure that it's not bothering them. Can we bring a coffee maker for our room? No, you may not bring a coffee maker. Anything that can become hot or actively hot, please do not bring it as it is a fire hazard. Since the laundry is free, how do you use it? Do you just push a button to start? Um, so I believe this will still be attached to a an account through WASH, um, but essentially it will be free. Um, we'll definitely provide you all with more information on that. Because la last year we did, Students did have to pay for laundry. So this is definitely new for us too. Um, so we'll be learning this information together. What about a slow cooker? No, you may not bring a slow cooker. Can I see how many units I have? Yes, please go to your get portal and you can see um, how many classes you've applied for. At this point, I'm going to assume you should know how much, how many classes you've applied for. Um, so definitely double check that. 
Is masking tape acceptable for dorms? Um, we would strongly recommend that you use like frog tape or the blue tape that is very sensitive to walls. Um, the masking tape will rip off the paint off the wall, so we do not recommend masking tape. Okay, um, so we will be wrapping up now. Thank you all so much for joining us at our um, info session. We look forward to seeing you on move-in day. Um, if you have any questions that come up, as you can see on our slide, you can see our email and our phone number. Um, please reach out to us. We definitely want to help you all um, have a smooth transition to your new home. Um, so thank you for joining us and we'll see you all soon.